So chimpanzees are still being poached, eaten and sold everywhere in Africa. About 40% of this remaining population lives in DRC. Unfortunately, no action, few action has been taken already in this country. For 10 years, I keep records on babies uh, selling in Lubumbashi, South DRC, border with Zambia. And uh, this table shows that at least three babies pass through the town each month going out of the country for international trade. In uh, last April, 6 April 2006, a uh, young chimp was so on the market, offered to sell like thousand of him. And um, this baby was seized by local authorities and with rangers of national parks. It was the first seizure uh, in Katanga. And um, we start with uh, Jack. It takes me a lot of work, as you can imagine, to recover. It was ready to die. And um, the next one comes, and then another one, another one. So, a few months ago, later, about uh, five babies in July 2006 have been seized by local authorities. And uh, as you know, uh, we are disturbing a lot of people in this business. There's a lot of money behind. And uh, 6 September 2006, somebody put the fire uh, where the babies were sleeping. It was a criminal act, sabotage, and uh, Jack burned in this fire. And his best friend, uh, Tuzo, was burned uh, 30 degrees in all his body. We do all we can to save his life. Passa Sanctuary Alliance helped me, sending me a vet in order to save his life. But 10 days later, we were obligated uh, the baby died. So then if you want, uh, three babies survived and we don't know exactly what is going to be next. Uh, people just want to stop me and the project. So even with that all horrible moments, uh, my wife and me uh, decide uh, to create an NGO and in honor of this baby, we call the NGO Jack, Young Animals Confiscated Through Katanga. He's an independent NGO, self-funded in Lubumbashi, and uh, is a refuge center for confiscated chimpanzees. We are not working alone. Uh, I create a consortium in order to face the trade. We work with a uh, Ministry of Environment, National Parks, and National Zoological and Botanical Gardens of DRCs. So, this center was created to facilitate uh, wildlife confiscation because it's easy to understand that even if these apes are protected for more than 30 years in my country, uh, no action has been taken because just there is nowhere to put these babies. So when we create this center, today is uh, April 2008. We have 14 babies who have been confiscated by authorities. We have stopped the trade in the country where I live. 
because just the authorities find an issue to confiscate these babies. So we know that we are not stopping all the trade. It's a very big country. So we need to build other rescue centers, maybe in all the country, uh, in order to stop the trade. As uh, my refuge center is located in the middle city of Lubumbashi, we receive in the last six months 80,000 visitors, most of them are children, so it's a very big impact uh, showing the children what's it's happening with all these babies in the country. And uh, also, as is in the middle of the city, it's very easy to bring authorities of DRC coming to visit the refuge and uh, in a certain way to put them in front of their own responsibilities. Last year we received a visit of the president of DRC and we have his support. Uh, nobody is uh, against the law and I am the law. So it's very important that we can have the support of the authorities. Of course, this refuge is uh, earlier at its beginning. We need to one day release all these animals in the wild. Uh, but this is another story. And uh, if you need more information about our action in DRC, please uh, visit our, our website. And uh, also you can visit our blog in uh, Wildlife Direct. We try each week uh, to send the last news, so you are most welcome.